What is going on everyone? This is me two weeks later realizing as I'm editing this that my introduction got erased. So with that being said, welcome to today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you a full leg workout along with a full day of eating. I appreciate you all so much for coming in, tuning in. If you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button right down there, I think somewhere, and make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Starting off this workout with one of my favorite exercises, hip thrusts. So the key to these is one, you wanna focus on keeping your back straight like a board the back does not move there's no curve and you want to focus on pushing through your heels and as you lift up you squeeze the glutes at the top every single time you lift up and you squeeze and this next one is a superset so we're going to start with the single leg hip thrust same idea as a regular hip thrust you want to drive through the heel here as you can see nothing moves except for my hip and same idea as you lift up you squeeze at the top you want to take this nice and slow and controlled really squeezing at the top focusing on that muscle mind connection and we're going to follow this up with the kettlebell swing so a lot of people think this is an arm exercise which it can be a full body exercise but you actually really want to work your legs here you want to focus on thrusting your hips forward and your legs are doing all the work and as you move your hips up and forward squeezing every time you lift up so let the hips be what brings that weight forward squeeze the glutes at the top this is a glute kickback machine if your gym does not have one of these just use the regular cable attachment to do these what i really focus on similar thing i focus on driving the heel back as if i'm trying to leave an imprint on the wall you want to have minimal absolute really no upper body movement here i see a lot of people when they kick up they really drive it into their back you want to have complete control and you want to go slow and squeezing every time you kick that leg back you squeeze the glutes and standing calf raises very self-descriptive and if you don't have this machine um, I usually just grab some weights and do these and then for the ab exercise at the end I decided to do this so this comes from yoga at least this is where I know it from and what I love about this is that it has really helped me build up my core because I have the world's weakest core now you want to focus on keeping that low back directly on the ground and you're going to bring opposite leg to opposite arm down and bring him back to the starting position now if you find that your low back starts arching up think about not lowering your leg as low to the ground because to me that simply means that your core is not strong enough to handle the leg going as low so think about bringing that leg up a little higher it'll make it a little bit easier and you still get the same benefit that this exercise has to offer and i absolutely love this it's a great beginner exercise and as someone like me who hates working core this has really helped me see and feel a difference <music> just chilling outside it is beautiful out and i am having my breakfast um i like to get protein in like a large amount of protein first thing in the morning because having it first thing in the morning just helps get a good portion of it out of the way and i feel like protein is something that a lot of people struggle with getting enough 
of. So just increasing your portions a little bit. So if you're gonna have four ounces of chicken, have six ounces instead, definitely helps. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this. I've been eating this breakfast, like the same breakfast for the last like two-ish weeks. I was on a road trip, so obviously made it a little bit harder, but back home I was having the same breakfast. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it. And I have some work to do and then I'll catch you at my next meal or snack. It's, it's roughly one o'clock and I'm getting hungry. I've just kind of been sitting up my work area and I'm gonna make myself a little snack. So I picked this up and if you haven't had this brand, it's really, really good vegan alternative yogurt. It's made with coconut milk. So it's, and I have a lot of strawberries. I'm gonna put some blueberries in. And then I really wanted something crunchy inside, but unfortunately I do not have any granola and I don't feel like running to the grocery store to get some, but I do have a granola bar left over from my road trip. So I'm gonna go ahead and crumple this guy up and use it as a topper. So that way I kind of have um, just a little extra flavor. raggedy if you will so lunchtime it's 3 30 so it's a little bit late but i just I haven't been that hungry today i don't know so i like to keep things as simple as possible i went ahead and picked up tuna this morning i love tuna when it's cooked properly um that means the inside is red so this is the smallest one they had this is really big i don't think i will be eating the whole thing um and my favorite seasoning for fish is lemon pepper um i love to add a lot of flavor to my food but i also like to keep it simple so so i basically just literally sprinkle the out of this and then i just use the just like an olive oil spray. And then I figured for a side with my tuna, I was gonna go ahead and cook up. I got frozen peas and carrots, and I'm just gonna cook it in a little bit of garlic. So nothing crazy, keeping it simple. I like getting frozen veggies when I am like stir frying. I don't like buying frozen veggies if I'm gonna be like roasting them or sauteing it, I feel like I don't know, especially with peas and carrots, I feel like they basically taste the same. And I just, I like buying fresh vegetables, but one, they can be expensive. Two, I don't always, like I'm not always able to eat everything that I buy and then I feel bad because I'm throwing it out and I'm wasting food. So when I buy frozen, I feel like they're fresh, they're good, and they last me a long time. So I can keep it in the freezer um, for a week versus you know, something I buy fresh, it'll go bad really, really quick. So I am going to go ahead and cook this up and I'll show you the final product. So I always like to let my pan get nice and hot. You never want to put food um, when the pan isn't fully like heated through, especially if you're using oil, simply because what happens is if you just put the pan, add the oil and just add like your vegetables in, so to say, it just like, I just feel like the vegetables get like extra greasy because they kind of take in all that oil. So I just like to wait until the pan is nice and hot and I will go ahead with my spray. So I'll go ahead and put it down. And I set the timer for three to four minutes. I'm gonna say like four minutes for this one just because it's a really big piece. So I'm gonna let it cook four minutes on this side, flip it over, let it cook for another three to four minutes, and that should be good. Hopefully I don't overcook it because I have a tendency of doing that. All right, look at this meal, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy that. So what I ended up doing is I took out some of the tuna because it was far too much, 
um, I weighed it out and it was like 13 ounces. It's almost like a whole pound of tuna and I cannot eat that much. So I took out part of it and I might eat it later. I just, I know just for one sitting, it would just be too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal and I'll check in with you later. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it really honest with you. I just didn't feel like cooking. I hit my protein goals for the day for the peanut butter and the giant pizza tuna. So all I really had to eat was like carbs and I was really focusing on also getting my fiber in and I was gonna make a salad. However, I just decided to honestly have this. I'm like not that hungry and I just don't feel like, I know salad isn't cooking, but I just don't feel like making another meal. So I'm perfectly happy with this. I have an apple. I have baby carrots, which are like my current favorite thing to snack on. Um, and before anyone gets on me or if um, somebody watches this and says like I'm not eating enough, um, I am in a slight deficit and two, I am definitely getting enough protein. I did hit 140 grams. So like, I'm good. Like I know I'm good. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and have this and I'm going to call it a night. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'll leave them down below and I will see you next time. Bye.